Kelsey. So happy you could be here with us today. Our first question comes from Brandon Bennett, and it will be on gun control. Brandon, turn over here. Look, hi, Mary. Uh, first off, thank you for uh, coming. Uh, I'm from Des Moines, and I grew up in uh, rural Iowa on a farm. Uh, you and I are only two years apart in age, and we are uh, millennials from the school shooting generation. Uh, my question is surrounding responsible gun reform. I'm a hunter and a responsible gun owner. However, I'm sick and tired of seeing our children and teachers murdered at their schools. Uh, you're an Afghan war vet. You hunted with your father-in-law, and you're a member of the Mayors Against Illegal Guns group. You've also advocated for universal background checks and possibly banning assault rifles. If elected president, what policies and measures would you take to ensure responsible gun laws? First of all, thank you for that, and, and thank you for raising that issue, because it's, it's so important to us, and I think it's been used to divide Americans who have the same values and interests against each other. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, like you, uh, I come from a place where gun rights are taken very seriously, and that's okay. Uh, the, the reality is that the gun safety measures we're calling for are completely compatible with the Second Amendment. We know this to be true. And, by the way, they're widely popular. You know, one of the reasons I think we've got to tune up our democracy is you've got to ask yourself, on something like background checks, where 80 or 90 percent of Americans, including most Republicans, most gun owners, believe we ought to do this, how is it that Washington can't make it happen? How did the center... Yeah. How did the center of gravity of the American people move so different from the center of gravity of the American Congress? And we know some of the answers, right? Money in politics, districting, all the rest of it. It's one of the reasons why I think we've got to do some of these structural reforms. That being said, as president, I plan to continue to advocate for, and I think successfully advocate, for things like universal background checks. Um, for us also to tighten up the ability of the federal government to enforce uh, some of this gun trafficking that goes on, which has been one of our focuses among the mayors against illegal guns. Um, and, and mayors care about this issue because it's the worst part of our job, is getting that message or phone call that we lost another person, usually a young person, to, to gun violence, or for that matter, to gun suicide uh, in our communities. And, uh, you know, as a mayor who's had that experience time and time again, as mayor is there when we swear in our cops with their spouses and sometimes children at their side and does not wish to see them outgunned in their own neighborhoods. Uh, as somebody who uh, is very familiar from my military training with weapons of war, somebody who uh, carried a rifle and a pistol uh, around a foreign land on the orders of a president, um, there are some weapons that just don't belong in our neighborhoods in peacetime in America. We've already decided that this is within the Second Amendment because uh, we've decided that somewhere in between a slingshot and a nuclear weapon, we can draw a line. And that's not unconstitutional, it's common sense. And that's why I think assault rifles need to be on the table, too. Thank you.